In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, check into your existing control points on a job once you have your total station set up. So we've already got our instrument set up. Um, we've leveled it up and connected it to our uh, data collector. You can refer back to our latest video to see exactly how to do that. Um, so where I have this machine located today, um, I'm not directly over a control point. As long as we have two points to check into, um, that's perfectly fine. So what I want to select here is set up at an arbitrary location. Um, that's just telling the machine it's not on a control point. Um, we can set it up at a different place each day. That's perfectly fine. So we want to go ahead and accept that right there. So at this point, I want to go ahead and add a point. Um, so I can tap on that. On this screen, we have a couple different options um, when we're trying to find the point that we want to select. So you can either cycle through by tapping on the screen on each of these points. And you'll see right here at the top of that screen, it's going to show you the point name of the point that you have selected. So I know that I'm on control point number one. So we see that right there. Or second option is you can look over here to the right side at this um, these three bars. That's your menu button there. Click that. And there's all the points we have on this job. So we can we can then cycle through these as well. Again, I'm on control point number one, so I'm going to highlight that point and then press accept. So you'll see you've got your um, selection marked right there with those blue circles. I want to go ahead and select. On this page, we see our settings um, for our range pole. So we are standing. Um, our prism is set at 2 meters or 6.562 feet. So we want to go ahead and measure. All right, so once that measurement's taken, we're ready to move on to our next point, which I'm going to walk over there real quick, and we'll get set up and shoot it. Okay, so I've got my range pole set up on my next control point. I've already leveled it up, so I want to go ahead and add my next point. I'm going to go ahead and select that point right there, which is control point number two, which is the point that I'm sitting on top of. Go ahead and select that right there. Same settings, nothing's changed, so we can go ahead and press measure. So once that measurement is taken, it's going to bring you to this screen, which is um, it's going to show you whether your error was intolerance or not. As you can see there, uh, notified by that green check mark, and it says setup error is intolerance. So that is exactly what we're looking for. Um, that means our calibration was good, everything checked in uh, good and tight, so we can accept that. It's going to ask us, do you want to save the instrument as a control point? We do not want to save this instrument because, like I said earlier in the video, I set up um, at a random location. It's not on top of a control point. So I want to hit no right there and take you back to your job screen. So at this point, we're ready to move around. We're ready to go stake lines, check grades, whatever we need to do uh, with our total station. So we hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Um, thank you.